is Nick with logosbynick.com, and in today's tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create this slice text effect using GIMP. And if you'd like to know how you could update GIMP's appearance with this new theme and these new icons, I'll have a link to that information in the description of the video. And if you'd like to know why it is that my GIMP installation is in one single unit instead of in three different panels, it's because I went to Windows and chose single window mode. So go ahead and choose that if you'd prefer the setup like you see here. Otherwise, we'll be good to get started. I'm going to open up a new document. And I'm going to make this document 1920 by 1080 in pixels. Go ahead and click OK. And there's our new document. I'm going to have to zoom out on this a little bit. I'm just going to hold Control and roll down the mouse wheel to zoom out. So what I'm going to do now is I want to fill this in with the color that I want to use as the background. As you can see here, I use like this red gradient. So I'm going to start with the shade of red. I'm going to click on the foreground color. And I'm going to change the HTML notation right here to FF002A. Go ahead and click OK. And there we have our shade of red. I'll go to edit, fill with foreground color. And it's going to fill that in with that shade of red. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on that foreground color again and just change that back to black. Go ahead and click OK. And I'm going to create a new layer on top of this by clicking this button right here that says create a new layer and add it to the image. Go ahead and click on that. And I want to choose transparency. Go ahead and click OK. And I want to set the mode of this to darken only. And then I'm going to grab the blend tool. Make sure you have foreground to background, this one right here selected. And for the shape, we want linear. And I'm just going to go ahead and click and drag across the canvas like this to create a gradient from uh, like dark red to lighter red, as you see here. And I think that looks pretty good. I'll just leave it as it is. If you don't like how it looks, you could just try it again. You could even go from different angles. I like how it came out originally, so I'll just leave it as it is. If you want to go back, you can hit Control Z for undo. And what I'm going to do now is create some text. But first, we want to flip the foreground and background colors around because we want the text to be white. And I'm going to grab the text tool, go ahead and click on the canvas. And up here, I'm going to choose Montserrat Ultra Bold for the font. You can use whatever font you'd like. It really doesn't matter. For the size, we want something big like 366. And everything else here looks good, so I'll go ahead and start typing. I'm just going to Right, sliced. You could write whatever you'd like. This, you know, it really doesn't matter what you type. Um, once we've done that, I'll grab the move tool and I'll just bring this towards the center of the page. And I want to rotate this around a little bit. So I'm going to grab the rotate tool and I'm just going to click and drag this a little bit just to rotate it around like that. Just a little bit, just to give it a slight little slant. Go ahead and click rotate. There we have it. And the next step would be to create the actual slice going through the graphic here. So to do that, I'm going to grab the, the, uh, the paths tool. And I'm going to click right outside the word right here to create a point. And then I'm going to create another point going through the other outside. And then I'll just finish this up going around the outside of the word. And once we get back to the starting point, I'm going to hold control and click on the starting point to close the path. And once we've closed the path, you could actually adjust these nodes so that this line is going where you want it to be. Because this line right here is going to represent where the actual uh, slice through the text is going to go. And I want this positioned just right with like a little bit of a slant going through like the bottom of the D but the top of the S. Like that. That looks pretty good. And once you have it positioned how you'd like it, just go ahead and press Enter on the keyboard to create a new selection from it. And then right click on that selection and go to Select Float. And that's going to create a floating layer up here. And what you could do now is right click on that floating layer and go to two new layer. And that's going to separate the two different text items into different layers. So what, I, what I'm going to do now is grab the move tool and I'm going to grab this bottom portion and just shift it over a little bit like that. And you might want to zoom in on this a little bit. I'm going to hold control and roll up the mouse wheel. You might want to zoom in on this to make sure it's up against the two text items are up against each other, flush like that, uh, to the pixel. So uh, if that's what you have to do, go ahead and do that. What we're going to do next is add a little bit of a drop shadow in here, like you see in my uh, thumbnail design. The, um, the drop shadow is going to help sell the, uh, the illusion of this being sliced material even further. So to do that, I'm going to create a new layer on top of this. I'm going to create, uh, click the button that says Create a New Layer. We're going to want Transparency selected. And I'm going to grab the free select tool. And let me zoom in on this a little bit. I'm just going to go and draw a freehand shape like this going around the gash through the text. Almost like an oval. It doesn't have to be any specific shape. Just make a nice shape like that. And once we've done that, I'll go to edit. 
fill with uh, fill with background color, or whatever whatever shade you have set as black. I have uh, black set as the background, so fill it with black. Go to select none, then filter blur Gaussian blur, and I want to choose. I want to go with 75 pixels right here. Go ahead and click OK, and it's going to blur that. So what I want to do now to help make this look even better, I want to erase the shadow on the bot from the bottom portion of the text. So to do that, I'm going to use the original path that we created as a reference point. So I'm going to come up here to this tab where it says Paths, and there's our original path that we created. I'm going to turn on this visibility with this eye icon right there, grab the Paths tool, and then click on click on that path to activate it and then press enter on the keyboard to create another selection from it. And now we can turn the visibility of it back off. We don't need that. We'll go back to the uh, layers menu and I'm just going to press delete on the keyboard. Now we can go to select none and grab the, uh, the move tool to get rid of those paths. And there you can see we've created our slice text. Now, one thing you might want to do, depending on how your shadow came out, you might want to bring down the transparency of it a little bit. I think that looks pretty good right there. I think um, I think that pretty much does it for the tutorial. If you'd like to know how you can take this text and move it around and 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 use it as if it were its own object instead of a series of three different pieces like that, what you could do is just turn on these chain icons between the three different layers right there, and then you'll be able to move it around like that. You'll be able to scale it down and everything. The chain the chain icon pretty much does what you what you'd think it does. It it chains it all together. So. Um, and I'll just put this right here, just like that. And that should pretty much do it for this tutorial. That's how you can go ahead and create a, a sliced text effect using GIMP. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.